Okay, now wait, wait, wait. This part is funny, right? Um, because the Pisces is so filled with delusions and ideals, they tend to project these tendencies onto others. I'm going to stop right there. Yes, that is true. That is true. And, I mean, just think about the theater of the mind for a minute, right? Like, some of us have stronger imaginations than others, right? And, you know, people call this manipulation. You're either going to call it manipulation, persuasion, or opportunity, coercion. You're going to use one of these four words, but guess what? It's going to come down to one of those things. Unless you want to isolate and be in fucking uh, igloo in Siberia somewhere. Like, you want to be Amish in a village in a cottage somewhere by yourself. Like, because... We are entities that are connected in some type of way, however fragmented at the same at the same time. That's why we have groups. That's why we have institutions that are different, separate. Somehow they connect with each other sometimes. You understand what I'm saying? Like United Nations and different states, okay? The United States. Like, this is not by accident. This is by design, all right? So let's say I have an ideal that I like or should I say a preference, right? That I particularly like to engage in. More than likely, 70% of the time, and for me, probably 80 to 90% of the time, when I'm talking to you, it's going to be pertaining to that type of preference, all right? And if I don't come straight out and say it, it's coming. It's coming, guaranteed. Most of the times, I just come out and say it. You know what I'm about straight over the back. Not the depths, not the future. You know as much as I tell you. So yes, she has a, a, a great, um, she made a great point. However, at the same time, I think it needs to be looked at in a light that that's just more honest. Like anybody who wants you, like it's just as simple as saying, okay, your best friend wants you to go to the store with them, right? They may ease their way into talking you to go to the store with them. It might be snowing outside. And then their mind they already thought about it like, damn, if I ask if I ask BFF to go to the store with me, she probably gonna be like, nah, right? But you like, fuck it, that's my BFF. I gotta try because my preference right now is going to the liquor store. Whatever whatever your fancy is, right? So you know, you 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 kicking the shit with your BFF like you usually do. You ease your way into it and be like, yo, you know what would be dope right now? What? A bottle of vodka, right? And then your BFF is like, it is, but it's fucking snowing out. Like, I know. That's why I wore two pairs of socks today. I ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Whatever you want to call it. You want to call it manipulation. You want to call it projecting your tendencies. You want to call it um, persuasion. You want to call it coercion influencing whatever you want to call it it happens in one of those type of ways all right that's what communication is for like i said unless you want to isolate and go somewhere and do it do it all alone by yourself okay fine but things that take two people to do like communicate for one guess what right um and she goes on to say um However, not seeing Pisces for who they really are can certainly be dangerous. It's time to look at Pisces from a realistic standpoint rather than viewing them as the Jesus Christ superstar they are known to be. Okay, now viewing Pisces from a realistic standpoint, that's going to be one of your hardest tasks in life, period. Especially if you're talking about us on an aggregate, okay? Um, and that's not to take nothing away from what she, what she wrote. I'm just telling you, like, um, that's great though. I, I can already tell there's gonna be future writings about this topic just from that statement right there to close that paragraph. But let's back it up a little bit when she says, however, not seeing Pisces for who they really are can certainly be dangerous. That is true depending on who you are, okay? Depending on who you are. And this is something you gotta, this is something you have to think about for, I'm gonna keep it on me and I'm gonna keep it on Pisces. It's the mutable aspect of our sign. You know what I'm saying? And depending on planetary placements, you know, when I come back on the, on the next video, I'm going to get more deep into the planetary placements, why I keep saying that, right? But depending on the planetary placements, right, it's going to determine 
how strong the belief system of the Pisces is. All right, so let's say, um, because you gotta remember, if we're mutable, we're e we can change our mind like this. However, we can be set so strong in our beliefs, like if, depending on your Jupiter placement, for example, right? Or what, what, whatever's going on in Sagittarius, what house Sagittarius is in, things like that, right? Can impact the level of danger when you're dealing with this type of Pisces, all right? Because you got to remember, this is what a Pisces knows. A Pisces knows that constant change is going on around them all the time, right? So they know that if they're too fixed in their ways, they can get caught up in the change and be found out in a way, all right? And it's not that we're necessarily doing anything wrong. It's just that we're set out to do and accomplish what we want to accomplish, the same way some others out there are doing their thing, right? And if we get derailed by that from not being able to adapt and change with the changes, then guess who that falls on? That falls on us, right? So you got to be prepared for yours to make yourself strong. And when you're dealing with this Pisces, you know what you're getting yourself into. You understand what I'm talking about? So yeah, if, if I add that with what I said earlier about we may know something about a particular event or... Uh, particular possession that we desire or something like that that has not happened yet and we're trying to nat we either are trying to navigate you there or keep our arms distant so you don't get there too quickly or we don't convey what's going on too quickly to you see when these things are happening you have to prepare yourself and how should I say it because granted, right, a Pisces has good intentions for themselves first, all right? And this is an, an advanced Pisces. This is a mature Pisces. And notice how I'm stalling a little bit because I want to make sure that I say this right. You know what I'm saying? Because you may encounter, an, uh, have an encounter with a Pisces and you'd be like, this is the worst experience I ever had in my life. And it may be because you weren't prepared for it. And your Pisces was not good at navigating and putting his arm out. You know how running backs, when they run, they run with their arm out before you even get there because they already know how much room they need between you and them for them to maneuver. You understand what I'm talking about? And sometimes, and this is especially in relationships, right? Sometimes the other, the opponent or whatever you want to call them, the partner, they're moving too fast. And they're going to catch that stiff arm. You understand what I'm talking about? And at the same time, they can do what is called trolling now, what I like to call baiting, right? And try to bait a Pisces in quickly. And what that's going to do is derail him from his path or her from their path and mess up their goal set and their mind state. You understand what I'm saying? So this is why we move that way. So if you end up getting hurt behind this type of shit, a lot of it has to do with you. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to deal with a Pisces and be like, so what are we doing tomorrow? You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying this because of my planetary placement of my ascendant. You know what I'm saying? I'm more of a straight shooter. And I trust me, I know Pisces. I know other Pisces who like to do the, hmm, the ponder, you know, weave around. You know what I'm saying? Suspense and all that. I'm capable of doing it too. Don't get me wrong. It's my natural ability. However, for the most part, I like to be straight and direct with what's going on right now. And like I said, if I know you can handle the initial, the initial um, information that I'm just giving you, then you'll see my arm start going like this. You understand what I'm talking about? I can give you a little more. I can give you a little more. You're asking questions. You want to know. You understand what I'm talking about? But if you're just like, oh, okay, I guess. You understand? Then it's like, okay, you guess. Stay your ass right there then. You know what I'm saying? And if you get hurt or bruised behind that, that's your fucking fault. Because you didn't say more. You didn't ask more. You didn't try to find out. Today, right now, in the moment. Don't ask me what I'm doing tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? That, no, don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Um, the whole Jesus Christ superstar thing. And you know what? Um, Because you know Jesus Christ, the sign of the fish and everything. That's a whole nother topic, a whole nother video. I may need like a half hour for that or some type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one day, possibly, I could go into that. 
Um, but I want to make this clear for all Pisces that are listening, right? And all of the Neptunian influences that um, this author really focuses on, right? Uh, don't be the martyr. Don't be the martyr. You know what I'm saying? If you're going, if you're going to go out for something, and when I say go out, I mean build yourself up for something, okay? Because you got to remember this. That was the Piscean age. See, people don't like to align the Piscean age with the Piscean book, which is the Bible, okay? That's why they have Jesus um, parallel to the sign of a fish. And they talk about the parable of how he fed so many people with the fish, all right? That's the Piscean age. Pisces, wake up. We are moving from that age to the Aquarius age, all right? Now, this is why she makes a good point as well by saying the Pisces is dangerous. It is the most dangerous age of mankind. The last 2,000 years has probably seen the most wars that the world has ever seen. Okay, we're just going to leave it right there right now. And we're going to continue because there's really a lot of stuff to cover here. I'm not going to cover everything, but I want to make sure I articulate myself well so that you understand exactly what I agree with, what I disagree with, and why. Okay. Now, this is, this is deep. Pisces are full of self-doubt. I'm going to stop right there. Yes, we are. I think I said this before in the last dark response, right? And the reason why we're so dark, right? I mean, the reason why I'm dark, the reason why we so have so much self-doubt is because we know we're different. Ask all your friends who got Pisces friends and they'd be like, yo, he's a fucking weirdo. She's, a, she's fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even think she was like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then you got your people who think that we're the greatest people in the world. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like this. Look, the reason why we have so much self-doubt is because we know we don't always fit into the norm. We know, especially when it comes to the extroverts. And when I say extroverts, what I mean is the masculine signs who have to always be like this and... You know, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me go, look at me go, mom, look at me, you know, I'm riding my bike, mom, look, you know, Pisces is just like sneaking out the window, taking the bike off of the chain and just fucking riding through the fucking dark woods, puts it back, climbs back up on the fucking window. Mom doesn't even know Pisces is riding a bike, you know what I'm saying? We don't give a fuck on that level, you know what I'm saying? And that's why it's important to know why we have such self-doubt because People might be like, why did you sneak out the fucking window to go drive the bike when you could just ask mommy in a daytime? And, and the, really the truth of the matter is we just feel like we know how to do a lot of shit on our own, right? However, we see a lot of our counterparts, you who I'm talking about, who may be different from us, all running out to be a part of something that they don't even truly believe in. We can tell. You're influenced by what you see. And don't get it twisted. You may be influenced by what you see with us too. It's like, it's a tug of war though. You know what I'm saying? We we could look at you and be like, oh, you like it over there, huh? All right, go over there. All right, we'll, we'll be the eyeball. We'll, we'll play that role. Don't catch the vapors though when you see us getting our crowd going on, no matter how small it is or how popular and wide it is. Don't get the vapors now and start coming back over here like, yo, it was always something about him that I loved. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, no, cut it out. You was darting over there because it was on TV. And you was like, oh, that's where I got to be. That's where everybody's at. I need to be there at this event tonight. And they're going to see me and I'm going to pop bottles and put sparklers in it and everything. Like, you know, whatever it is, I'm just using it as an example, right? You like popping bottles and putting sparkles on them? You go, do you? Hoorah, right? I'm just making my point. That is why we have so much self-doubt because we'll look at everybody going that way and doing that and doing that and we're just like, I don't give a fuck. But we got these great ideas, these great ideals, these great tendencies, these powerful preferences and that's why we gotta be careful when we communicate them because people may look at us like, are you from here or like, do you know what's going on around you? Do you know where everybody else is going or doing right now? Like, why don't you do that stuff?